Hello everybody, welcome to this video. This video, I had no idea I would record it because I had no idea this would happen. But this is the uh, my little Asus, uh, what's it called? The Asus X205TA notebook that I have. I was using it literally about 10 minutes ago and then I saw it started to smell like a sulfur type burning. Is it sulfur? I don't know, I started to smell like burning electronics and I picked the notebook up and I realized that down in this corner here it was ridiculously hot and also I can still smell the sulfur. So something down here has been fried or blown up or burning, whatever, I don't know. Uh, so in this video I'm going to be taking it apart. A part, a part, a part, whatever. So yeah, I have no idea what caused this. Uh, I don't even know if this is a known issue with them. I mean like it's still warm there to the touch. I will be back once I've taken all the screws out. I have since taken all of the screws out, so now it's time to take it apart. I honestly don't know what's happened or why it happened, because I've been using this notebook pretty much daily since I got it, and this is the first time it's ever done this. Why is it not coming out? I have taken all the screws out, I know I have. Right, let's take the uh, unplug the battery. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's this corner here. There's a speaker. Don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but right on the edge of the speaker, there, it looks like it's partially melted. So, it's something under the speaker, I think. I'm not certain. Let me put it back on the tripod and I'll get back to investigating what's gone on here. So let me just remove these bits of electrical tape that I have to uh, hold the speaker cable in place, actually. And I put that one over a screw hole without realizing. Yeah, I'm going to remove the battery. So I'll be back once I've unscrewed the battery. Let's take the battery out. Now I've removed all the screws. Oh, I forgot we've got the Wi-Fi antenna up here. And then we have that one there. So there's the battery, no damage on the battery. So it's not the battery. I don't know what I'll record, call this. I'll probably like put this in as part of the teardown series, even though it's more of an investigation into what's happened and where's my little screwdriver gone. Like not, not this little screwdriver. I had another slightly bigger one. I oh, know I didn't. This is the bigger one. I had a slightly smaller one that's gone missing. How the hell do you get these speakers out? Okay, right. I have no idea how to do this, but uh, yeah, if you do have one of these, I would uh, recommend you don't do this. Oh, I can hear like sticky tape. There we go. So what has been burning? It is the speaker. Yeah, that that's definitely kind of like melting there. So the speaker's like combusted. I'm going to uh, go away and do some research to see if this is a known problem because I've had this notebook for several months now. Well, I say several months. I've probably had it for closer to half a year now. And this is the first time anything like this has ever happened. I may just take the speakers out and leave them out because this little notebook can't really handle video at all. I mean like 720p it can sort of handle but the moment you move, move the mouse or press a button or whatever it just lags so uh, yeah you don't really end up watching video content on this laptop because it's just that slow. So yeah if I uh, find out that this is a known issue then I'll let you know that it's a known issue and obviously my findings let you know what I find out about it. Anyway I'm going to go and research the issue to find out if it is a common issue or not. Interestingly, there is absolutely nothing about the speaker melting. So, yeah, I mean, I could call them, uh, call like ASUS support, or email them or whatever, but I don't really see any point in doing that because at the end of the day, I got this laptop secondhand. It doesn't have a warranty. Well, if it did, I guess it's expired as it is a 2014 model. And the chances are that any guarantee and or warranty 
whatever the difference is. What is the difference actually? I don't know, there's probably some difference. Uh, so that's probably expired and as I've taken it apart, it's probably just voided that warranty if it still exists anyway. I think what I might just do is because I don't feel safe using it with a speaker that's melted because that could cause more issues. So I might just take the speakers out because I never really use them at all. If I need to do like audio stuff, I always use either my desktop or my other laptop. I literally all I use this notebook for is word processing when I'm not at home because it's small, it's portable. Uh, and when you're word processing, you don't usually like listen to audio or whatever. And usually when I do take this, I take my phone with me and uh, my phone is honestly a better video player and audio player than this laptop is. So if I want to listen to music or watch a YouTube video or a stream or whatever, I do it on my phone because performance wise, my phone is better. Uh, than this laptop when comparing like video resolutions and playback and stuff. I am aware that this is a Windows laptop and my phone is an Android phone which is a uh, version of Linux I believe. I am aware it's completely different hardware that's non-compatible with each other. Basically if I want to watch a video or a stream my phone can do it better without lagging and stuttering and stuff which is usually what occurs when I uh, use this notebook. Yeah I'm going to take the speakers out so I'm guessing I can just I can't just pull them out uh, and I'm good taking the speakers out so I'm not really that bothered that it snapped. Uh, so now I need to get this speaker out. So yeah, I hope when I put it back together it actually... Now you see that's just damaging the case. <laughs> Camera's being really finicky because the lighting's off to the side. Uh, but as you can see at the bottom of the speaker it's like sort of deformed itself where it started melting and uh, I don't want to use a laptop or notebook whatever you want to call it that's got a potentially dodgy speaker so I've just taken the speakers out there is this adhesive stuff so I'm going to go and try and remove this adhesive stuff so that took a lot longer than anticipated. I thought it would be fairly simple, but no. I've got the majority of it off. I mean, there are still bits that are still bits that are stuck in there. Let's get back to putting it back together. What is that that's on the battery? This looks like glue or something. Nothing to worry about. The battery looks fine. It's got bits of uh, glue on it from the, um, the electrical tape that I put on before. So now I'm just going to... Put the battery back in, make sure that the uh, Wi-Fi antenna goes back around its little thing up here. Don't need to worry about the speaker cable because there are no more speakers. Now I can, did that go over or under? I think that might have gone under. Yeah, that did go under. Right, now I can go about screwing it back in, so I'll be back once I've screwed it in. There's a battery screwed back in place. Now I should be able to put this back in place. You probably won't be able to see it on the camera. Oh, you can just. Can you see that like, little raised bump there? The uh, the heat melted that coming off the speaker when it melted itself. So, uh, yeah. Not that I need to worry about that because now there's no speaker at all. I need to plug the battery in. Make sure that everything else is plugged in first. Yep, that's securely in place. Right, now we need to put this back on. Now, I believe it is just uh, pressure clipped on. And there's it all clipped back in place, I think. And I accidentally turned it on. So I guess I can see if it works. I was going to turn it on before I screwed the base in anyway. So now it's just logging me on. So obviously there will be no built-in audio. Let's go and have a look at the sound. So as you can see, it is... Oh, let me zoom in a bit. So as you can see, that is the audio output. I mean, I may have just like completely ruined the sound entirely. And if that's the case, then oh well, never mind. I'd rather have a laptop with no speakers than a laptop that's on fire with speakers. So yeah, there's there's no sound even coming from the 3.5mm jack. So yeah, I'd probably just completely ruin the... <laughs> ruining the uh, the sound so yeah, there's nothing from there I have no audio at all no audio from the internal speakers because I removed them and no audio from the 3.5 millimeter jack but uh, I'm honestly not bothered because like I said this laptop if you're watching a video or whatever I don't do it on the laptop because it can barely handle word editing 
never mind like video watching so uh this has been a interesting video for some reason the speaker decided to combust so i took it out and now i have no audio at all now i can just go ahead and screw all of the screws back in best thing ever when you're working with screws make sure you've got a magnet because then you can just stick all the screws to the magnet and then they won't go missing unless you lose the magnet or knock the screws off the magnet. Uh, so yeah, I've since removed the speakers as you've seen. I now have no audio output and yes, even though I said always keep your screws on a magnet, I somehow managed to lose the central screw. So I've no idea where that's gone. That's been the tear down and pulling out of the self combusted speaker. So if you liked it, like it if you didn't, then dislike it and tell me why. Comment, favorite, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I shall speak to you in the next video. Oh, hang on, hang on. Before I go, found the screw. Look, screw, found it. Yes, now I can screw it back in. Anyway, see you in the next video.